It's the second day at the Belgium F2 Grand Prix in Antwerp and even on Sunday morning the wind started to spring up again. But the plan for this race day was made. 15 minutes free practice and then all would go into just one qualifying round, divided into Group A and B. We're racing. Yes. So far so good. The conditions were quite good enough to start free practice right in time. And all 26 pilots went on the 1.6 km 2 pin course to find their setup for the second World Championship round. When the lap times popped up on the screen, it looked like a completely different story than in Kaunas a couple of weeks ago, when it was Nelson Moreau setting pretty quick times as well as Tobias Montecas. When Nick Bistefeld went on to his flying laps, for him it took only three laps to post the second fastest time of the free practice session. Owen Jelf, meanwhile, was fastest overall, only three tenths of a second quicker than Bistefeld. But the steady wind claimed its first victim. When Simone Schuft rolled over at turn one, the German pilot got out of the boat safely, but it occurred to become a big problem to get the boat back out of the water. Also, youngster Ferdinand Sandbergen flipped out of free practice and found himself upside down in the water. The free practice ended with Owen Jelf on first, Nick Bistefeld second and Tobias Muntekas third. The race winner from Kaunas, Rashid al Kamsi, ended up only on 10th spot and also the Kaunas podium finishers Ryabko and Österberg finished only 11th and 15th. So finally it was time for qualifying of Group A. With Nelson Moran setting the fastest time throughout almost the whole 20-minute session, only beaten in the final laps by new star pilot Konstantin Ustinov. Also, Abu Dhabi pilot Rashid Al Kamsi improved and finished third in Group A qualifying. A big surprise was newcomer Hector Lopez, who made it to fifth spot in Group A, which would have been his guaranteed place on the grid for the Belgium Grand Prix. But as soon as the boats for Group B qualifying wanted to start into their session, all actions on water were stopped because the race course had to be opened again for barge traffic. So there wasn't any time left until race start to have another qualifying, which meant to have the starting grid in order of the World Championship standings. With only 20 out of the 26 boats allowed to start at the race, pilots like Hector Lopez, who's having his F2 debut, would only watch the race from the pits, even though he would have been easily qualified. But after all, something else made the biggest impact at this weekend. When the pilot's biggest concern about the tight change conditions and the safety situation concerning getting drivers out of the boat after an accident became the main problem. So all drivers had a meeting discussing the issues they were facing. The result was drastic. Does anyone have a different view? Does anyone want a race? All drivers voted for not racing at Antwerp. So there wouldn't be a Grand Prix of Belgium if the race direction turned the driver's vote into a race cancellation. And they did. We just make a decision to cancel it. We were actually trying to um, postpone it, but we're not sure about the weather forecast. It looks like it's never going to be better today. I mean, yesterday we were lucky at 6 o'clock, the, the water was flat, it was beautiful, but still we had the problem with the 3D water. So, um, yeah, that's one of the reasons, safety reason we have it. So now, the only thing to do is getting ready for the next race. Everything back to zero for the Norwegian Grand Prix in Tonsberg. For sure, we will get all the racing action there. Don't miss it and follow F2 on Facebook, YouTube and F2WorldChamp.com.